Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. I am looking a hot mess today, so we are just going to jump right into the declutter. Today we are decluttering bronzers, blushes, and highlights. These are like most of my bronzers. I think there's a few hiding elsewhere. So we are going to do bronzers first, and then we will move on. I have a couple of the Benefit Hoola bronzers. Um, I have the regular one. And then I've got the Hoola Light. I actually really enjoy both of these. Like, I've made decent progress in this Hoola, and this is, I think, my second one. Um, the Hoola Light I do really like. My only concern is I have a lot of the Benefit palettes, which have the products in them as well. So do I really need all of the Hoolas? Like, here's another one. I just, I really do like these. I really do. And I do use these quite a bit, so I think I am going to keep these. This is the Chanel Silky Bronzing Powder in Tundra. I actually do really like this one as well. It's a beautiful powder. This is like so old and janky, but I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is the A Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. This one is so beautiful. It's such a large pan, but it's stunning, so I'm going to keep that one. And then the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Bare in Mind. This one oh, is also so beautiful. It's so light, and I really do like that. This, I think I am going to put in my tester pile just to double check because it's been a while since I've used this. Um, this did used to be like one of my absolute favorites, but I want to make sure that I still like it as much as I did just because it is such a large pan. So this is going to go on my tester pile. I do have a couple more oversized ones. I'm like, oh my god, I'm all over. This is just one of those days where I'm all over the place. The Marc Jacobs... Omega Bronze in Tantastic. This is huge, but I absolutely love this bronzer, so this one I'm definitely keeping. And then the Tom Ford Ultimate Bronzer in Bronze Age. This is such an expensive bronzer. Um, I actually just got this one really recently. So this I'm going to put in my tester pile just to make sure I like it. Okay, so then I have the Balm Take Home the Bronze Anti-Orange Bronzer in Oliver. I love this bronzer so much. This is a, an easy, easy, easy keep. I have the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Bronze to in Fair to Light. This is so gorgeous. Like, it's such a pretty bronzer. I got this at TJ Maxx recently, and I love it. I have a couple minis, the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in 2. This is gorgeous as well. And then I have a little mini of the Benefit Hula. I just, Benefit Hula is seriously one of my favorite bronzers. Like, I have to keep it because I love it so much. The CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer in Bronze. This is like really shimmery and really golden. I'm going to put this in my two test out pile. I got it on clearance and I'm not 100% sure about it. I have the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in Indesun. This is so gorgeous. I got this um, during the Sephora VIB sale. I'll link that haul down below. I freaking love it though. Then I have a little mini in Shady Biz which this one is also super stunning. I haven't used it as much, but I really like that one too, so I'm going to keep that. This is Fiona Styles, the Bronzing Sun Veil in Ahiko. This is so, like, it's one of those really nice gray tone contours. I freaking love it. You guys, I have a really, like, for whatever reason, bronzers are one of my, like, biggest issues because I love them all. This is a mini hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in um, Luminous Bronze Light. I love it. The hourglass bronzers are some of the best. This is nude bronze light. I have to, I'm just, I'm keeping all of those. The It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores bronzer in Beach. This one is so, oh my god. This is, I'm telling you, bronzers are seriously some of the worst for me. This is a Japanesque Velvet Touch blush, but it's in like this gorgeous bronzy shade. Um, this one I don't use, I haven't used this in quite a while, so this I'm going to put in my maybe pile because I want to make sure it works with my skin tone. <clears throat> I have a mini Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder in Sun Days. This one I feel like I've had forever. This one I'm also going to put in my baby pile because I want to know how that works for my skin tone. This is from MAC from the Caitlyn Jenner Collection. It's a mineralized skin finish natural in Compassion. This is so freaking stunning and I'm definitely going to keep this one. It looks so good on the skin. And then this one is fairly new. Um, it's the MAC from Aladdin. This is the powder blush in Your Wish Is My Command, but it's obviously like a bronzer. So this one is on the darker side, like in the pan, but it looks so nice on the skin. So this one I'm definitely going to keep. The Medusa's Makeup 
sunkissed bronzer this is like so horrifying looking in the pan but it actually does look really beautiful on the skin um, it's got a very nice like sunkissed glow type look to it and I do like it so this one I'm going to keep this is the Milani baked bronzer in Dolce this is nice I have used like I've put a little bit of a dip in there um, I just don't know it's just so light this I'm gonna put in my try on pile because I'm not 100% sure about that. These both are fairly new. I just got these from TJ Maxx. They're the NARS um, like diffused light bronzers. This one is in Seaside and this one is in Laguna. I'm keeping both of these. This is the Ofra Egyptian Clay Bronzer, the 3D Pyramid. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But it is rather orange. I don't know how much you guys can see that because this is a really weird angle for me to put my arm. So I am going to put this in my tester pile to try it out, see what I think about that. This is old school. This is a Physician's Formula Summer Eclipse a Radiant Bronzing Powder in Moonlight. I do like this one. I don't really use it that much anymore though. And I don't know, like, it's almost really glittery. So this is going to go in my try-on pile as well. I'm going to test that out. The Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Bee in Bronze Mannequin. This is gorgeous. I love this. I'm definitely going to keep that. The Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. This is in Sundance. These used to be, these natural bronzers used to be my absolute favorite. I've gone through so many of them. This one at this point though is very shiny and sparkly. Um, and I ended up picking this up because it was on clearance and I hadn't used these in forever. But this one I do think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. This is the Sephora Sculptor in Los Cabos. This is actually beautiful. It's another one of those gray toned contours. I'm definitely going to keep that. And this is the Sugar Mini Bronzer in Woody Wonder. This I honestly don't think I've ever used. I got this in like an Ipsy or something. And it does look a little orange. So this I'm also going to put in my uh, tester pile. I have two of the minis of the Tarte Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I really do like these. Like, they are more on, like, the shiny, shinier, shimmerier side, but they're so beautiful on the skin. I probably don't need both, but I am going to keep them both because I do like these, and these are smaller pans. So I'm going to keep both of those. The Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. I freaking love the Too Faced bronzers, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all of those. This is the Milk Chocolate Chocolate Soleil. This has a pretty decent dip in it. Definitely going to keep that. That one is one of my favorites. This is the Sun Bunny. This, oh my god, this is such a freaking stunning bronzer. I'm like in love with this one. Definitely going to keep that one. This is the Too Faced Sweetie Pie. This is the Radiant Matte Bronzer but it has like the highlight and blush things in there too. So this is going to go in my tester pile because I don't know for sure how I feel about that. And then I have two of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzers. These are from, I think, the like Fire and Ice collection. This is Queensland. And this one is Your Dragon Me Down. These are really nice, but like Queensland is way too, like not my skin tone. This one might work for me. I don't know. I think both of these I'm just going to pass along. I don't have like... They don't get me excited like my other bronzers do, so I think these are both going to go. Okay, so we're going to move the bronzers over to the side. Those I'm keeping, these are the ones that I want to test out. So I'm going to put these over here. And now we're going to take a look at blushes. I have a really weird issue with blushes. Like, I don't know why. I just do. Um, this is the Jouer Coquette Blush Duo in Seduce Me and Tease Me. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely going to keep that one. I have a ton of the Benefit Box blushes, and I know I already have most of these in, um, like, palettes and stuff. I just, I can't, like, these are just, these are almost collectors to me. I'm just, I love these so much. The Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Strobe Berry. So beautiful. This I got, like, for a platinum perk from Ulta. I love it. The Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose. This is a really nice shade. It's very light, which I like for just like, you know, a more naturalish makeup look kind of day. I really like that blush. The Pacifica Coconut Blush. This one honestly just doesn't really excite me. This one I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. 
Okay, I've got a couple of the Balm in Stain blushes. This one is Argyle, which I love. It's so pretty. These blushes are really amazing quality. And then I've got Houndstooth, which is a little bit darker, but still so beautiful. And then Toil, which is really bright, but gorgeous. Like you have to have a much lighter hand when you use it, but I'm just, I love these blushes so much. So I'm going to keep all three of those. The Bare Minerals Ready Blush in the Natural High. This packaging really bothers me, like, because it's only, it only takes up half of the compact, but it's a really beautiful blush. I like it. I'm going to keep that one. The Becca Tiger Lily Luminous Blush. This is a relatively new to me. It's so pretty, though. I'm going to keep it. And actually, this reminds me, I just bought a couple other Becca blushes, so I'm going to grab those really quick. Okay, like I can almost guarantee that I have more blushes and bronzers and highlights hiding elsewhere, but for right now, I know that I had these um, that I just hadn't put away yet because I just got these at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to bring these in and the rest of them are brand new, so they're probably not going to get decluttered. I've got some of the cargo blushes. I actually really like these. Like, they're not really talked about anymore, but they are seriously amazing blushes. These, This is the Beach Blush in Cable Beach. I freaking love this blush. I've had it for so long and it still performs so well. This one is the Beach Blush in Miami Beach. Same thing as the other blush. It's just so freaking beautiful. And then this one is um, a powder blush in the Big Easy. It's such a gorgeous blush. Like these pans are so huge though. It's crazy. I have one Clinique Cheek Pop in Pink Honey Pop. I freaking love these. I want more, but I'm trying to be good. Um, I have two of the CoverGirl True Blend blushes. This one is in Light Rose. And this one is in medium rose. These are so freaking pretty. Like, I think I'm going to keep these too. Oh, this brand, I have no idea how to pronounce. I've never been able to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. This is in the shade Magic Hour. Honestly, this is a little, like, bright for me. Like, a little too pastel-y pink. Um, those shades don't typically look good on me. Uh, so I think this one I am going to pass along. I have two of the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted Scented Blushes. This one is in Bashful, which my kids did put a little gash in there. Nice. And this one is in Charming. These are both really nice. I really like them. I got them on clearance at Target. I think those I am going to keep for a little bit longer. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. This is such a pretty blush. So I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm terrible at this. This is the Laura Geller Baked Impressions Blush in Mob Mocha Latte. This one is like a little bit darker, but still so gorgeous. Laura Geller does really good blushes, and I feel like nobody talks about her enough. This is the Blush and Brighten in Sateen Subtle Berry. This one I'm not the biggest fan of because it's almost like purplish. So this one is going to go in my tester pile because I want to see, I don't remember how that looks like on the skin. So I want to see how that looks on the skin. The Lottie London Blush Crush in Justin. This I didn't expect to like, and I actually really do, so this one I'm going to keep. This is the MAC Highlight Powder in Crew. This one, like, I know I keep it with the blushes because it definitely looks more like a blush, but I want to try it as a blush just to make sure, so that's going to go in my tester pile. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Misbehave. Honestly, this is a bit light for me. I don't typically wear it, and it's got, like, it's definitely more of, like, a highlight shade. I just am so obsessed with this little cute little heart in the middle um, that I can't get rid of it. So I am going to put it in my testers because I want to see if I would use it more as like a highlight or as a blush. So that's going to go in my testers, but I can guarantee I'm not going to get rid of it. I might just move to drawers. This is the Mineralized Blush in Nuance. So beautiful. Definitely keeping that one. This is from the Caitlyn Jenner collection. This is Buddy. I actually really like this. It's got two different little sections. So beautiful. I'm going to keep this one. This one is from the Simpsons collection. This is Pink Sprinkles. I love this blush too, so I'm going to keep this one. And this Simpsons was the first, like, limited edition matte collection that I ever bought from um, because I love this show. So this is a sheer tone blush in Peaches. So pretty. MAC does really good blushes too. This is the sheer tone shimmer blush in Spring Sheen. I love this one. There's, like, a pretty decent dip in this one, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me blushes. I've got 20, which is mauve, and then 30, which is rose. Mauve is so, like, barely showing up on my skin light. And rose, these just don't have, like, the best pigmentation. 
Like, they're okay. They don't really get me excited, though. So these I think I am going to go ahead and pass on. This is the NARS blush in Gaiety. This looks so bright, but it's so beautiful on the skin. It's like a darker version of the um, Magic Hour blush. It just pulls a little bit darker, so it's not as pastel-y. This one I'm definitely going to keep. This is from Note Cosmetics. This is the Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in Desert Rose. This one is a little too, like, weirdly orangish for me. So this one I think I'm going to pass along. This is the NYX Mosaic Powder in Paradise. <clears throat> this is one of those ones that I've had for so long and just I never reach for it. So this one I might pass along as well. The Ofer Blush in Bellini. This one is beautiful. I'm definitely keeping that one. The Pixi by Petra Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. This one I think I want to test out because it is a little bit darker, but I remember really liking this. That may have been a highlight though. This one I'm going to put in my tester pile. I have the Revlon Powder Blush in Wine Knot. This one is so old and it's really dark. This one I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Then I have the Revlon Powder Blush in Tawny Peach. I can't get it open, but um, I know that this shade wasn't one that I really particularly liked. It's too light for my skin tone, so this one I'm going to get rid of. This is a Sephora blush in Love at First Sight. Really beautiful. I'm going to keep that one. The Stila Love at First Blush Palette. I really love this one. It's so pretty on the skin. I'm going to keep that one. This is the Stila Pretty in Pink blush. Also gorgeous on the skin. Definitely keeping that one. And then I have a bunch of Tarte blushes. This is the Blushing Bride. I love this one. This is Dazzled. Gorgeous. Exposed feisty feisty is the only one where no but see even that like it's more like nudish but I feel like that would look really good on my skin I don't think I've used feisty before but I'm gonna keep those seduce definitely gonna keep that's one of my favorites I've got parte which I feel like was um one of like Sephora's birthday gifts and then this one is thankful I love thankful I use it all the time and then true love and then I have one more mini of Thrilled, which I feel like I'm going to keep all of these because I just, I love them all. This is the first time ever that I think I've actually been able to get them all in like one little container. I do have a few, like the Benefit ones won't fit in this container, but I think that's a really good progress. So I'm going to move those over to the side. I've got four that I'm going to be testing out. And now we're going to do highlights. This is another like guilty pleasure thing of mine. Um, I really like highlights. And now highlights though I actually do work through rather quickly like when I use the same one consecutively. So I don't feel super bad about having a lot of highlights but I do have a lot of highlights. Um, so this is the Tetris and Ipsy highlight in Tetris Life. I really loved this collection but in the video that I made which I will also link down below I made a video about this whole collection. This is super duper gold. And like you can make it look really nice, but it does require a little bit of effort. So this one I think I'm going to go ahead and let go of. This is the NARS Albatross Highlighter. This is an absolute classic and it's so beautiful. So this one I'm definitely going to keep. And this is a fairly new purchase. The Becca and Chloe like BFF things. They... It does make a really pretty highlight. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile because I hate the packaging. I hate the fact that it looks like dog food, but it does like, I recall it making a really nice highlight. So I'm going to try it out one more time before I make my decision. This is the Japanese Kumadori Ombre Highlighter. It's so pretty. It's a huge pan, but it's such a beautiful highlight. So this is what I'm going to keep. This is the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Summer Haze. I don't, I don't love loose powders, but I'm going to give this, like, I don't think I've even used, I think I used this, like, once right after I got the box, I think. I'm going to give this one more shot before I get rid of it, but I probably won't end up keeping it. That's going to go in my tester pile. And then I have a little mini in Conceited, which does this, 
I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now too just because if I keep the large if I keep the full size I might keep the mini because they are in two different shades so like if I like this enough to keep the full size I'm gonna put both of these in the maybe pile I'll have to figure that out I have a mini of the balm Mary luminizer that I've hit pan in this one I am going to keep because it's such a good highlight this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector pressed in bronzed amber as much as it pains me to say this, this one is just way too dark for my skin. Um, it just looks really odd. So this one I am going to pass along. This is the Gold Lava by Becca. I freaking love this. But I'm not a huge fan of like gold highlights. So this one I am going to put in the maybe pile and I'm going to try it out again to see if I want to keep it or not. This is a mini in Champagne Pop. This one is beautiful. I'm definitely keeping it. This one is a mini and opal, also gorgeous, definitely keeping it. I have the Prismatic Amethyst. I love this one. Like, this one is genuinely so gorgeous. Um, this is the first full size that I ever purchased. I love it. I'm definitely keeping it. I have two more minis. This one is in Vanilla Quartz, and this one is in Rose Gold. I love both of these, so I'm going to keep both of them. This one is in Year of the Pig. This one is like my newest one. I'm definitely keeping it. The Dose of Colors, a baked highlighter in Peach Glow. I freaking love this highlighter. This is such, oh my god, it's so beautiful. So I'm definitely keeping that one. I have an e.l.f. highlighter in Pink Diamonds. This is one of their baked highlighters. This one is pretty light. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile I want to try this out on the skin like on my face and then figure out what I want to do with it I feel okay like this is the elf heart defensor in coffee and cream um, this one is actually really beautiful this shade is a bit dark that one is stunning but I don't want to keep like a whole thing just for this one shade so I think I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and I'm gonna test it out and see what I think about it this one is from Estate. This is the Afterglow Baked Highlight Powder in Doomy. I really love purple highlights. I think they're so stunning. This one I'm definitely keeping. This is from Hard Candy. This is the Just Glow Rose Gold Highlighter. This one I think I'm going to keep too. This looks really beautiful when you mix all of the three shades together. It's gorgeous. So that one I'm going to keep. The Josie Marin Argan Enlightenment illuminizing veil this is like a really sheer highlight but it is so freaking beautiful i love it so this one i'm definitely keeping the l'oreal true match lumi powder glow highlighter in ice this one i have like a decent dip going in i actually really love this so this one i'm definitely keeping i have a laura geller baked gelato swirl illuminator in charming pink i hate the packaging of these um, but this one i'm definitely keeping it's beautiful um, this one is in Diamond Dust. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's got the most pretty shift to it. I'm definitely keeping that one. And then I have a mini in Gilded Honey, which this is like definitely on the gold side, but this one I actually do really like, so that one I'm going to keep. And then I have a mini baked highlighter in French Vanilla, which I'm going to keep because these are stunning. This is the Balance and Highlight in Porcelain. It's so pretty. I'm definitely going to keep that one. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. Um, I would never use this as a setting powder, so I put it in here because it's definitely more of a highlight on me, but this is a loose powder, so I'm going to put this in my maybes, and I'm going to try it out there. This is the Luna Baked Highlighter in Electra. This one is really beautiful. I'm going to keep this one. This is a MAC um, Trip the Light Fantastic Powder in Luna Luster from the Star Trek collection. This has like a couple of gouge marks where my kids got into it. This one honestly is just really glittery. And I don't love using it because of the gouge marks. So this one I think I'm going to pass along. The Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in Molten Gold. I, I don't love the gold highlights. But I, but I am keeping a couple, like, just in case. And I think that I like, like, this gold better than, like, the Tetris because the Tetris is a very, like, yellow gold. 
and this one is more of like a rosish gold. So this one I'm going to put in the maybes because I do want to give it another shot. Because like this shade of gold, I don't mind as much. It's just the yellow gold. Like I can't handle that. The Maybelline Master Fairy Highlight Illuminating Powder. This is in 200. I've never opened this. I'm probably never going to. Um, this one I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of. This is a Milani Strobe Light and Afterglow. I think this is like a little mini. Um, but it's really beautiful. So I'm going to keep this one. The Morphe High Impact Highlighter and Extra. This one is so pretty. I got this in like a Glam Bag Plus. I freaking love it. So I'm going to keep that one. I have three of the NYX Born to Glow highlights. I got these um, on clearance at Target. And honestly, like they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Oh my God, except for this packaging. I just don't really ever find myself reaching for them. Like they just don't excite me, I guess. Like they're really beautiful. But I feel like I have all of these like finishes and these just don't, like I never find myself reaching for them because they don't excite me. So these I'm going to get rid of. This is the NYX Illuminator in Narcissistic. This one is so pretty. It's very like pinkish, but it looks really nice on the skin. So that one I'm going to keep. This is the Ofra Beverly Hills Highlight. I love this one. I'm definitely keeping it. Ofra makes gorgeous highlights too. This is Rodeo Drive. Yes. This one is also Rodeo Drive. It's in the newer packaging though. Um, this one I haven't used as much as this one because this one's older. But Rodeo Drive is seriously one of my favorite highlights. So I am going to keep both of those. This one is the Nikki Tutorials Everglow Highlighter. I freaking love this. It's so pretty. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. Um, it is like there is that darker shade in there. So it is a little bit on the darker side. I don't always use that shade. But these two bottom shades are just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to keep this one too. This one is the Pixie by Petra. This is a beauty blush duo in Peach Honey. Um, but it works out to be more of a highlight on me. This I absolutely love. Like I did not expect it to love it nearly as much as I do. So that one I'm keeping. This is the Revlon Highlighter in Glitz Balm. This is like so dirty. But there's like a pretty decent dip in there. I actually do really like this one though. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. This is the Revlon Highlighting Palette in Rose Glow. This one, honestly, I feel like I've had forever and have never really used. Um, this one I'm going to put in my maybe pile and I'm going to test it out. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in Exposed. Oh my god, these are so... Like, Tarte does face products, man. And this one is in Sparkler. I'm keeping both of these. They're just so freaking gorgeous. Oh my god. I've got a bunch of Wet n Wild highlights. This one is Blossom Glow. A lot of these are from limited edition collections. This one is gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping it. This one is in Precious Petals. This is more on like that gold side, but it's more of like that rose gold. It's really beautiful though, so I'm going to keep that one too. This one is the Sweetest Bling and then Lilac to Reality. I don't remember what collection these are from, but I adore these. So I'm going to keep both of those. And then these two, I think these are the ones from the Fire and Ice collection. This is Winter Falls in LA, which this has kind of got a blue shift to it, which I don't mind. Like I have other highlighters and palettes that have blue shifts that I do use. Um, this one is in Halo Walkers. This one is like straight up blue. And here's the thing, like I really like these. I don't know why this Fire and Ice collection just does not speak to me, but these are just not exciting to me. And like I honestly genuinely could not tell you why, but I think I'm going to pass these along because I just don't really have much of an interest in them. Um, and then I've got the Winky Lux Charm Holographic Highlighter. This is so gorgeous. This is like a cute little mini that I got from an Ipsy bag. I freaking love it though. So adorable. So I'm going to keep that one. These are all the products that I want to test out to see how I feel about them, to see if I do want to keep them in my collection or not. So these are the ones that I'll be trying out over the next couple of weeks. These are the ones that I'm going to get rid of. Um, so I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I did much better than I thought I was going to because a blush, bronzer, and highlights are pretty hard for me. Um, but I am really proud of myself. Now I did want to point out um, that in the primer and foundation and like the face base video, which I'll link down below, 
Um, I did pull out some products that I wanted to try to finish, like to use up um, to get out of my collection. And there are a couple in here that I can do that with. Like this little baby hula, I can just try to use this up and get it out of my collection. So that's going to be my plan for that. This um, Balm Mary Luminizer, this one I've already hit pan in. So this one I'm just going to pull out to try to use up to get out of my collection. And then... The little Winky Lux Charm Holographic Highlighter is just so small and there's already such a nice dip in it. So I think this one I'm also going to um, try to use up to get out of my collection. All right, you guys, so that is my declutter video for the day. I hope it wasn't too confusing because I just remembered like various things as I was going. Um, but that is life, yes? Um, I always try to keep it real for you guys and hopefully that is what I accomplish here. Um, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know down below what your favorite blush or bronzer and highlighter products are because obviously like I've got some extra room now. I'm trying, like I'm not going to do that. No, shut up. Okay. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like declutters like this and also make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything that I post in the future. I will be doing the rest of my declutters coming up here shortly and then I do have um, a haul that's coming up. Oops. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you next time.